Good day guys and girls, again welcome to ASFN Fishing, uh, we are busy with Kuta Traces, one of the requests or quite a few requests we received on Kuta Traces, so I'm running you through a whole bunch of them, but first make sure you subscribe to our channel please, and uh, hit that notification button if you want to be notified every time we upload a video, and also like the video, this all helps us a lot guys. Now before I start, our first Kuta Trace, you'll find the link below in the description we've put the link of the first video i cover a lot of what you see lying here in front of me what i used to make traces and the different types of traces and stuff and uh, there you can get all that information today what i'm going to do i'm just going to cover a live bait trace uh, using for live bait without a weighted hook weighted hook being this just a normal hook and uh, let's call it a mackerel or a sardine, a red eye sardine that you're going to use as live bait. So I'm going to use two hooks and I'm going to use smaller hooks. All right. Um, the number four must add the four times. This is the 3599C. That's the best little kuta hooks. Okay. In general, that's the general hook we use the most. So I'm going to need two of those. You can also use this for the bigger moss bunker that's actually the size of this trace. Smaller moss bunker you'll only put one, one of those, all right? Then for my leader I'm going to need a number six or even a number seven power swivel. You want to keep that as small as possible. And then my carry hook, I'm going to use a one -0. Mustard hoodlum, very nice, very strong hooks. I'm going to use number five for my trace and for my lead I'll use number four. So number five, let's quickly get that going. All right, like I explained in the first video guys, I use a little, you can use a nail or whatever, I use a little punch. And I just create a nice little round loop on the piano wire, which is where my hook will sit in. Okay, and then I measure the length I want. That's for my back hook, the longer one, on a mackerel or a, consider it from the mouth to almost just before, between the tail and the back fin. And that's where I'll, okay. I know I'm going to get these comments. So, let me get measuring tape. Alright guys, for the guys that really likes working on the exact measurements. Oh, there's a ruler right in front of me. Call it 20, 18 to 20 centimeters. Alright. And that'll clip off. Leave enough to do your knot. And then for the shorter one, 9 to 10 centimeters. Okay, and then I just do, see it forms that nice little 45, a nice loop for your hook, and we're going to tie it on on the opposite side. I definitely use long nose pliers to hold that and make sure it's 45, and then do the 45 twist. Once you've done quite a few of the 45s, call it 8 to 10. You make your longer one straight and you just take the tag and do nice and tight lock winds. Hold it like that. When you start it wrong, it takes long. 
and then there's no tag on that knot whatsoever. Very neat on like that. Let's do the longer one. Now I'm going to attach the long one first. Well, it doesn't matter, long or short one first, onto my carrying hook. This you can also make a 2 -o. I like using a small one in front. Then we add the second one. All right, that's your trace, guys. You can see your head sits here and the hooks are right behind the head and on the body of your fish. Okay. Then you add your leader line. Now let's make this a, a bit of a finesse. All right, so instead of putting a skirt, I'm gonna put a green bead, which has been working quite well over the years. I mean, we first results we got on this was Oh, if I remember correct, 2007-2008. So it's become quite part of uh, most critter anglers' boxes that they sometimes have at least one trace with uh, with a bead on instead of a skirt. Now, for my leader, I use four. Number four, piano wire steel, and I'm going to do exactly the same. Guys, so for the high wire twist that we used to make the knots with piano wire on the back of American fishing wire packets, like I said in the first video, it gets explained nicely there. I want to use about a meter. On this light trace, I'll actually use 80 centimeters myself, but from a recommendation point of view, a meter, 1.2 meters. First one, cut enough for the knot, the high wire twist, and you're ready to go. The right thing would have been to put on the bead first, <laughs> before you uh, kink it the way I did now, but we'll make a plan, we'll get it on. And that goes onto the eye of the hook. There you have it. Standard live bait kuta trace with leader. And that's what you'll fish like that. Very simple, no weighted hook. Just straightforward finesse. If you want to take this to deeper depths, we'll show you guys some videos coming or going forward. But you'll put this bait, you'll put your bait on, you'll put it out about 10, 10 or so meters. Then you, by using a rubber band, put a up to a 14 ounce sinker onto your rubber band and onto your line. And let that drop and that will take your bait down and in front of that sinker about 10 meters 6 to 10 meters your bait will swim and so you can control the depth you're fishing at by doing that the basic principle of that is uh, early morning we start to the surface and just under the surface 
and then you can start putting as the day progresses you can start putting some of the baits deeper and deeper and deeper as the fish goes down until you find the fish the whole thing with kuta fishing as with most types of fishing is varying what you're doing and uh, until you find the fish until you start getting the results so your depth your size your colors like we've got these red ones um, different skirts no skirts fishing lighter all of that plays a role and then this you just stick into these nice little nifty mustard bags that keeps your traces and that's the life bait finesse trace for red eye sardines bigger moss bunker and mackerel done and dusted guys thank you very much for watching and ladies and remember to subscribe remember to like the video and remember to hit that bell notification button to receive notifications of every time we upload a video i hope you guys are still having a great time at home and let's be responsible all of us stay safe at home and uh, encourage everybody out there to stay at home or follow what the, the government's asking from us to get this whole pandemic underhand in south africa so we can all get out fishing thanks guys